Hello and welcome to the Philippines. I bought a parrot and it doesn't talk. Warranties in the Philippines, are they any good? Actually, I bought this parrot. Uh, it was hanging high in a, in a store, Gaisano Mall store. And uh, I was attracted to that parrot. And uh, <laughs> the price was right. I think it was uh, like 399 pesos about eight u.s dollars and i uh, took it home and uh, it, it, i couldn't get it to talk there's a place underneath there that bottom piece kind of uh, little door unfolds and you put batteries in there and i tried a number of different batteries and turned them around the other way even though i was sure i had them in right and my parrot will not talk there's a button on the front to press and I suspect that uh, that it that somebody else brought it back. I, I suspect that it was in a box or a uh, some type of display arrangement before, and somebody had bought it, and it didn't talk for them. They brought it back uh, the store, and and I think this is not so unusual. I think the store puts it back on the shelf, and somebody like me comes along and buys it, and. Uh, uh, still likes the parrot, even though it's a silent parrot. Uh, it's it's a uh, it's a companion. It's a very quiet companion, and sometimes you want a quiet companion. Usually, I am a good listener, and uh, some sometimes people think I'm a quiet person because I will sit and listen to a conversation amongst a number of people. Uh, because I learn much more by listening than if I'm talking. Uh, but in this case, I have a parrot that will just sit and very quietly, very patiently listen to anything I want to talk about. Hopefully, it's not set up with any cameras or microphones to uh, record anything that I <laughs> say to it. Um, anyway, look, you know, I haven't, uh, haven't got a name for it yet. And I, I did consider bringing it back, but... Uh, uh, there, I don't believe it was under warranty in any any way. There was no label or little note saying it was under warranty, and it would cost me more to take it back to uh, Gaisano Mall on Mactan Island than than what I paid for it. So anyway, I've got a silent companion. Uh, getting back to uh, warranties here in the Philippines and and what I've found uh, when I came here in 2015 and uh, rented a condo. My condo was semi-furnished. Uh, it, it had a little bit of furniture, but it had a rice cooker and it had a little uh, countertop uh, burner that I could uh, cook on, but I didn't have any, any cookware, or silverware, or plates, that type of thing. So I went to a number of different stores to purchase those types of things. I will tell you that my experience as I went around and uh, purchased a number of different things, uh, for instance, the blue one on the right is an induction uh, cooker. The one that I was provided with on the left, the white one, uh, put out an enormous amount of heat and uh, I, I really didn't want to be heating my unit while I was also trying to cool it with air conditioner, so I bought the induction unit. And uh, then you need a certain type of pan also for that. So, so I purchased a, a set of cookware uh, that would work on that. It has to be, I think ceramic doesn't work, glass doesn't work, aluminum doesn't work. It has to be a conductive type metal. Uh, and uh, anyway, every time I would purchase one, wherever possible, the, uh, the store would plug it in and uh, grab a pan, put some water in the pan, and show me that it worked, would heat that up to boiling. And uh, when I went back and bought some uh, additional pans, they, they set up one of these little uh, cookers and, and uh, took my pans out and uh, showed me again that, look, that pan works on this uh, particular, this induction cooker. Uh, so that's something uh, when I bought fans, uh, they took it out and uh, plugged it in, made sure the fan would work. And just about everything that I purchased where possible, uh, they would uh, they would plug it in and uh, test it prior to letting you purchase it. 
I purchased this little uh, AC and DC. It's got a battery in there that will charge up and run for several hours. Uh, lamp, and they had there again. They plugged it in, made sure it would work before I left, and that was almost that was three years ago. It's still working. the The battery has lost a lot of its uh, charge. It won't keep that light on nearly as long as it originally would. But that is to be expected. Uh, many, many, many different uh, charges and discharges. My experience almost 100% uh, of the time is that a company, electronics company or appliance company will tell you that you have seven days replacement policy. And that's if you haven't damaged it in, in some way yourself. And that's not a return of money. That is 100% uh, of the time. They just say it's a replacement policy, and that's going to be subject to them determining whether uh, the product has been damaged or misused. Um, after that, you're dealing with a manufacturer's warranty. So uh, if you live in such a place like Cebu City has a number of manufacturer's uh, uh, service centers here, um, I'm sure the... Manila area has quite a number of service centers there. Uh, but if you don't live in an area with a service center for that particular item, it means you're going to have to find out a way to ship it to that uh, manufacturer or one of their service centers. Not so long ago, I bought a, quill, uh, a pen, not a quill pen, but I bought, in fact, I bought three pens. I, I usually buy three pens at a time because it seems many of them uh, don't seem to last very long. Uh, but anyway, I bought three pens, and one was, you can buy a pen here for 12 pesos, you know, 24 cents, or, or 18 pesos, 36 cents, um, U.S., um, but I bought a, a couple of uh, more expensive pens. I think one was uh, probably $5, 250 pesos, and... Uh, the one was in a nice little package, and I got outside, and I decided I wanted to make some notes on a little notebook I was carrying, and uh, pulled it out of its little case, and it was already bleeding ink out, out of the front. Um, and I thought about just tossing it, but uh, a number of reasons. Number one, because I had paid uh, a, a good amount of money for that pen, number one and secondly I wanted to use it as a test to see what would happen if I took that pen back in the store it was a national bookstore which is the big brand here in in the Philippines uh, so I took the store back and uh, asked one cashier and she pointed me over towards the uh, over toward customer service counter and uh, I told the lady what I happened I just bought this so I, I opened it up and uh, she very defensively asked me, didn't you check it before you bought it? And, well, no, I don't. I, I don't usually take things out of packages in a store. I wait until I purchase them and, and take them home or out of the store at least. Uh, you might be accused of, of trying to steal something if you're taking things out of packages inside of a store. So anyway, I got a little defensive and... Uh, and I said, well, didn't you check it before you put it on the shelf? And uh, <laughs> she was a little flustered at that point in time and uh, not happy with me at all. Uh, but anyway, uh, she pointed me over to the to a cashier, and I went over to the cashier. The cashier came over. We had a little discussion, and I don't know if he remembered me, but I had the receipt with me. And uh, in... In, in a minute or so, he brought me a new pen, and we opened it up. It was all clean and worked properly, uh, so we did, that was an easy exchange. But I am interested uh, in, in the experiences of, of other expats and tourists who have come here to the Philippines or other countries. What, what is your experience with, uh, with warranties, uh, trying to return things, trying to get your money back or, or get it replacement? Uh, those types of things, because uh, my opinion, I have an, I have a, I've had a couple of Asus phones uh, in in the USA, and I've had a couple here in the Philippines, uh, the same models, a Zenfone three, uh, 
but it seems to me they're not the same. You're getting a little bit different quality, a little bit different uh, software package, and I'm, I'm sure that is. They have a different package for, for Asia, different package for Europe uh, because of various regulations. But uh, I am curious to other, uh, other people's uh, experience with warranties, guarantees, that type. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, please like the video, share the video, subscribe. Safe travels to you all wherever you're at, and we'll see you next time.